I know you've had a moment where you feel like you are talking to your spirit guides and you got crickets. I just had one of these times. So let's talk about what to do and why this happens. Stay tuned in this episode. Welcome to Spiritual and Ambitious. I'm your host, Whitney McNeil. I'm a certified medium and spiritual teacher, and I help spiritual and ambitious souls just like you live your life purpose through your career and attract abundance by connecting into your intuition and spirit guide. Let's get spiritual and ambitious. It happens to the best of us. We are developing our intuition, we're doing great, and then we hit a brick wall. What the heck happened there? Maybe you're like, ha, what are you even talking about, Whitney? I haven't even had one message from my spirit guides. Well, this applies to you too. No matter where you are in your intuitive development, there comes a time where you will feel blocked. And it happens for many different reasons. I wanna go into that, and I'm also gonna be giving you ways to shift it as well. One of the reasons is when you are feeling like you are overwhelmed. If you are overwhelmed, you are literally going to be blocking up and putting up a shield because you can't take on anything else. So really, when we are not open to receiving like we say we are, we're like, well, of course, when I'm overwhelmed, I want to talk to my spirit guides. That is not how your energy works. You are literally saying, I'm overwhelmed, I'm at my max, I can't take on any more. The same actually happens with abundance as well. Like you're basically telling the universe, I can't take on any more. The same happens with your spirit guides. So you put up this energetic shield quite literally where you are just not able to receive. So what do you do when that happens? I recommend that you really look at your priorities and you schedule some self-care and you schedule some time to just relax and release. I also highly recommend that you open up your root chakra because it is a great helper in releasing energy in your body. Recognize that you don't have to be going, 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 doing all the things in order to produce abundance or to feel like you're living in purpose. It's truly about receiving. And if you can make that mindset shift of allowing myself to receive and rest and pause is just as valuable as taking action, then that is a game changer. So ask yourself if you're feeling stuck, am I doing all the things? Am I trying to do all the things? Now, maybe you're saying, but Whitney, I'm not. I promise I'm sitting here doing nothing but trying to meditate with my guides. What I would ask you is, well, your body's not doing all the things, but is your mind? Are you thinking about things at night? You know, it's like that nighttime where you're like, oh, I'm getting ready to go to sleep. And then all the things that you have been shoving down come up like worry, fear, second guessing, doubt. I've been there. I get it. It's like, well, shit, I was doing great today and I was really productive. And now all these things are coming up and maybe it's like, you got to pay the bill. Hey, did you reach out to this person? Or sometimes it's like, you got an intuitive message to create a new offer for your business. Have you done that yet? (laughs) Perhaps it's worrying about money or who knows? It just happens. So this is why it's going to be really important for you to receive. One of the tips that I'll say is write all the things down. So if you're having trouble, one of the things you can do is grab your phone, get your notes out and write down all the worries and the things. It literally is a great way to release. Sometimes we try to ignore them and spiritually bypass them. And let me tell you, that is not going to work. Just write it down so that you have it on paper. And one of the things that I tell myself is when I allow myself to rest, I allow myself to be in better service to others. I allow myself to be in an attraction state of abundance. I allow myself to receive more abundance in 
my life. So that's one area as to why you might be blocking your intuition and how to fix it. Now, let's say that you've been receiving intuitive messages for quite some time with your spirit guides, but you feel like all of a sudden it stopped. What's happened? Most likely your intuitive language has changed. I used to do readings like a lot. (laughs) That was the main thing I did in my business. And at some point I would give a reading and I saw nothing like, oh my gosh, my primary intuitive language is the seer and I'm getting nothing. What's going on? It's because the way the messages were coming in were changing and it's important to be open to the way it comes in. That's why I talk about the four intuitive languages inside of my program, four intuitive languages to learn all of them, because trust me, they change, they shift. You are a changeable being and you grow. Now, why is this? Well, one, I think you probably know why we grow, but what I want to say is sometimes we're going through a healing process. Sometimes we've got a headache, (laughs) perhaps that if we have a headache, what happens is your clairvoyance and clairaudience, it really comes through that same chakra where you have your headache. So it may need to come through the gut or the knowing center. So sometimes it's just a different way of being. We have to just be open to it. Now we can get sad because we are creatures of habit. We like to get used to things. Now, I was always one of those people in school where I wanted to sit in the same seat. I'm still that way. I don't think I could like survive in an office space that was open seating where you just went in and changed your seat every day. I would hate it. I like to have my own little routine and my own little place. Even when I get plane tickets, I pick pretty much the same side of the plane every time. And I like to pick the same kind of rows if possible kind of weird coming from somebody that's not really a schedule person. I still like my habits. So when your intuition changes, it's a little freaky because your control wants to control it. And you're like, wait a minute, I've developed this system. What the heck? Be open to the change. Embrace the change. Know that your spirit guides can still give you messages. It's just part of the process. Now, another reason you may not feel like you're getting anything is because your energy is not truly in a place to receive. So we talked a little bit about that with feeling overwhelmed, but sometimes it's a little bit different. So stay with me and I will share with you why and some tips to help shift all this energy when we come back from this quick break. This episode is sponsored by my free Spirit Guide Masterclass. Inside, you'll learn the five C's of Spirit Guide communication, your role with your Spirit Guides, two proven effective strategies to stop second-guessing yourself and your intuition, and the single most important step to understand your intuitive guidance, along with four ways to perceive your spiritual intuitive messages. You'll also be getting a workbook to go through this class as well. You can join at messengerspirit.com forward slash free class. As a professional psychic medium, I've done tens of thousands of readings, but I felt a call to move more fully into teaching intuition, but I still get so many requests about doing readings. So while I don't do readings anymore, I have brought in some very trusted colleagues who are now available for live one-hour readings on Zoom. If you would like to book your psychic medium reading, go to messengerofspirit.com forward slash appointments to see our available readers and schedule your Zoom reading today. All right, thanks for staying with me. So last night I had a crazy experience. I was up past four 37 a.m. What the hell? So one of the things I talk about with your intuitive language is to pay attention to certain aspects. So for an instance, I'm primarily a seer, so I see my messages. 
And it's important for me to take care of my eyes. I'm sensitive to light. I'm sensitive to color. I love color. It helps to express my energy. And one of the things I say is when you're staring at a computer screen all day long, it can really change your energy. Your, your energy is sensitive to your eyes. So I normally wear a pair of blue blockers to help protect my energy. And yesterday, I felt like I was too lazy to get up to do it. I was recording tons of videos and I was on the computer way more than I am ever in my business. And I just didn't want to get up to get those darn glasses. I could not sleep. I was up, 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 up. And it was as if nothing would settle me. I sat there, I breathed in, I said to myself, when I allow myself to rest, I am more abundant. <laughs> I talked to my spirit guides and I got nothing. And I thought, what? Like, I can't even get a message from you guys right now. What it really means is, Whitney, your energy's wired. Your energy is totally going through a shift and a transition right now. It was more of like, my energy was of a different vibration than I'm normally used to. So vibration is basically where is your vibration on a day-to-day -day basis, such as your energy, you vibrate. And if you were to assign a number to it, that would be called your vibration rate. My energy was moving way faster. So it was like a speedway, go, 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 go. And if my energy is moving way faster, it was like you are just don't have an opening to receive. Like it's not even a possibility right now. So we have to be in a place where we can actually receive those messages on an energetic level. So our desire to receive doesn't mean that we do. It is our energy and are we opening and allowing for it to come in? So one of the things I tell my students that work with me is choose a time to talk to your guides where you feel really relaxed. And for a lot of people, it is right after they wake up or right before they go to sleep. Well, hell, I was like, up all freaking night and nothing happened. <laughs> so that is because I energetically wasn't in a rest place. So if you walk away with something today, I hope you walk away with the fact that you need to pause and you need to rest and you need to allow yourself that place. But sometimes we get into this tailspin of what's wrong with me? Oh no, why can't I get my messages? But this is the time I really need it. And you can understand when there's times in your life where you feel that same go, go, go energy, where it's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I'm doing all the things or you feel energetically kind of wired. And the same happens if we are in a place where, let's say that we are healing. So for me, after surgery, I wasn't getting anything because I was taking heavy pain meds. And with that, it's like, hey, it's not in the best time for you to receive. So those are all reasons why you cannot receive. One of the next reasons I'll say is, because you just haven't developed your intuition and perhaps you need to work with your spirit guides to increase that sensitivity. So regular exercises, consistency, doing spirit circles, working with your chemist, adjusting those sensitivity receptors are going to be really important. So of course, that's a reason why you might not be able to receive. Another reason that you might not be able to get anything is because your mind is not clear. So for me in that example of being up past 4.37 freaking a.m., I wasn't in a place to be able to clear my mind. So if you are not clearing your mind, no matter what's going on, your mind is not clear, you're not going to be able to actually get those messages. So that's a handful of why, but how do we shift it? One is don't judge yourself. Know that something's going on and let's not go to it's my fault. One of the things we can do is do a self check. Hey, am I relaxed right now? And hey, is my mind clear right now? If you've answered yes to both of those, the next thing I'll ask you to just ask yourself is, am I expecting or looking for the message? A lot of the times we are expecting it to come in a, a certain way, such as 
through your normal intuitive language when it wants to come in a different way, or we expect it to be a certain thing like a boom. So many times when I was doing readings, I'd see people who wanted to hear from their loved ones in spirit, and they were looking for a certain sign. And all that did was box them in. And they weren't able to necessarily receive all the other messages because they're only looking for this one nickname that their loved one called them or the flower that they gave them on a certain date. So really just be open to the messages that are coming in for you. Don't judge. Are you in a place to relax? Is your mind clear? Are you open to receiving messages any way they come in? And then what I'd like for you to do on a consistent basis is allow yourself to breathe. Seriously, so simple. Just take deep breaths and breathe in. Feel your shoulders go from this place of going up and out, kind of like you're bracing for something and drop them literally into more of a relaxed place, especially if you are a channeler. Your body language is really important in the way that you can truly receive the messages. And then I'd love for you to tell yourself, I've got this. Instead of feeling and forcing the message to come in, just say, I'm open to receiving the message when it's the best time for me and leave it at that. Now, this isn't an excuse to just give up on your intuitive practice, but sometimes we want an answer in a certain timeline or we want the communication during our meeting. Now, most of the time you'll get it during your meeting with your spirit guides. But sometimes you just don't. And you can say, it's all right. I'll allow that message to come through when it's the best time for you and for me. It's really easy just to talk to your guides that way. You can feel the difference when you live in flow versus you live in your head, right? I can tell the difference energetically where I'm going like, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. Instead of feeling like I have to do everything, I can just shift my energy with a snap of a finger and say, you know what, I'm only going to do what I feel inspired to do. And I know that when I do that, my spirit guides are helping me prioritize. And I know that I'm truly living my life through my intuition. And sometimes we make it too hard. Your spirit guides give you messages based on how do you feel? How's your body reacting? Is it tired? Is it ready to rest? Does it feel like it has so much energy that you need to go expend it? And so if you have tons of energy and you haven't done anything to expend it, take a few moments and get up and dance. Get up and dance, do jumping jacks, just take a few moments, jog in place. This is gonna help expend energy so that your mind can be in a better place to completely let go. Another tip I want to share is give yourself patience. Sometimes we see other people developing their intuition faster than we are, and then it leads to a bad case of comparisonitis. I see this happen in my programs where they're like, but you're seeing all these orbs and I'm not seeing anything. That's okay because you might be a channeler. And I will definitely talk about the channeler in its own episode, but the channeler truly doesn't see, feel, or hear if they only have the channeling language, their body just reacts. So your body reacts based on the energy. How is your body reacting to the energy? If you don't want to receive and your body is saying no, kind of like throwing a tantrum, like, "Mm -mm, I'm not going to listen to anything. This could be that you don't really want to hear your answer. So really asking yourself, hey, is there something that I don't want to hear? And then you can do more investigation with, is there fear blocking me? Is that what's going on? But don't start with that. Just allow yourself to relax and to be, and just making a commitment to your intuition, your spirit guides every day really goes a very long way. Don't try to force the message, let it come. If you want to learn more about communicating with your spirit guides, you can check out my free class at messengerspirit.com forward slash free class. 
I'll see you inside the next episode, but until then, here's to staying spiritual and ambitious. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. And if you loved it, would you please share it with a friend? I would also love your review and a reminder to subscribe so you never miss an episode. You can find me at messengerspirit.com and you can take the four intuitive languages quiz and find show notes there too. If you want to connect on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, you can find me at Messenger of Spirit. If you want to continue the conversation, join my free Facebook group at messengerofspirit.com forward slash group. I'll meet you right here next week. Here's to staying spiritual and ambitious. This podcast is part of the Sound Advice FM network. Sound Advice FM, women's voices amplified.